guide will help you enable your Alexa device communications. In order to proceed, you will need an Amazon account with an email address and the mobile phone number associated with it. You will need wireless internet access on your Echo device and you may also need to download the Alexa app on your smartphone or tablet. However, with the Echo Show devices, the ones with the screen, the setup can be done on the device itself. The Alexa communication function allows you to make phone calls or video calls to the people in the contact list on your device just by using your voice. For example, you can say, Alexa, call mum. It's that simple. You can call a message between supported Echo devices, which means that if you have one of the Alexa devices at home and a family member or friend has one, you'll be able to video call or voice call each other. You can call or check in on your loved ones for no cost. In order to enable communications, go into your Alexa app with the Amazon account associated with your Echo device, select the communicate icon at the bottom of the screen, then insert your mobile phone information if that is yet to be done. Then make sure you grant permission for calling and messaging. a message with a verification code that you'll need to enter. If you're doing this on your phone, it's a good idea to disable the import contacts from your contacts menu option so you can enter the contacts manual if you'd rather not have all the contacts from your phone imported onto the device. At this point, you should consider whether or not you want to enable the drop-in feature. The drop-in feature allows you to call in to an Echo device without anyone having to answer it. So, if you want to check in on a relative, you could ask the device to drop in on Mum and it will do so. On devices with a camera, for the first 5 seconds or so, the screen is blurry, so you can't see what is going on. This gives the other person the time to hang up or move out of the way. But after these first few seconds, the device allows you to be able to look in and make sure everything is okay and you're also able to talk to them without having them answer the device. If you need more guidance, you could also find a step-by-step -step guide in the help section of our website. The link to our website is in the description section below. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to click like and subscribe in order to be up to date with our latest videos. There are also more in-depth tutorial videos available on our YouTube channel.